Hi, Purpose Partner. Welcome to another episode of Rise to Your Purpose, a personal and spiritual development podcast for female entrepreneurs with a mission. We are your hosts, Brandy and Natalie. We are founders of Victorious Entrepreneurs Rising, where we guide women to build profitable businesses online through diversifying your income, using kingdom principles in marketing, and operating in a spirit of rest so that you can create kingdom impact. After this episode, be sure to join our Purpose Partner Facebook community and get your copy of our Rise to Your Purpose devotional so we can continue to serve you as we partner together in our faith and business. Let's dive into today's episode. Welcome back to another episode of Rise to Your Purpose. This is your host, Brandy Thomas. And today I want to share with you a speech that I did for our Activate Dominion Conference this past weekend in San Diego. And I was given the opportunity to share my testimony, if you will, about going through Radiant Leadership Academy Level 1 and Level 2, and also being certified to coach the Radiant Leadership Academy at Level 1, and uh, just like what that has really done for my life. So I Today on this episode, I really just want to share that with you. So for those of you who maybe weren't able to attend this conference, you can really just hear my heart, see what God has been doing in my life these last two years, and specifically on how it has impacted me as a leader and how I show up and lead in my life, my business, my family. And so I hope you enjoy. How many times do you want to take the lead in your life, your career, your relationships. So often in my life, I took the lead to go after what I thought I wanted and needed. There were things, goals, ideas I thought I wanted for my life that I needed to happen in a certain way and in a certain timeline. I thought my career and motherhood needed to look a certain way. And I think God was over me taking the lead. So he used Radiant Leadership Academy or RLA to completely just gut me and deconstruct my belief systems and have truths and lies that I've been believing. And over these past few years, he has reconstructed me to the woman that you see before you today. There are two truths that I want to share with you today, but that God revealed to me on my deconstructing leadership journey from going through RLA three times and then also coaching it three times that I want to share with you today. The first truth is you cannot lead others without leading yourself first. And the second, leadership with God can look different in different seasons and with different assignments. So let's talk about this first revelation. You can't lead others if you're not leading yourself first. This is one of the very first phrases that you'll hear inside of RLA. And to be honest, I wrestled with this truth a lot over these last two years. I wrestled with God, myself, and the enemy. And there is so much truth to this. And as I've tried to live out this phrase, I actually found myself being in bondage by it. You see, I was a leader in a leadership position, and I felt like an imposter. Have you ever felt that way? Oftentimes, I'd fall short on completing the exercises Or forget to say those amazing affirmations. And I'd start to think, well, if I can't do it, how can I lead others to do it? When I started coaching RLA, this feeling of bondage only got worse. You see, I was coaching in the middle of one of the hardest times of my adult life. We were demoing and renovating our fixer upper while living in the basement. And everything that could go wrong literally did go wrong. This six to eight week project turned into a 14 month long journey and what was worse is that the unmet expectations and timelines of that project only amplified my unmet expectations and desires for a child of my own and I found myself very frustrated and angry I would be training on minding your mouth And your thoughts, while my thoughts were in victim mode, filled with bitterness, anger, frustration, and grief towards myself and God, while taking it out verbally on my three-year-old son and husband. I was hurting, and I'd let everybody and God know it. I cried out to Jesus one day, 
And I was like, Jesus, where are you? Where are you in all of this? And the vision that I had just cut me to my core. I saw Jesus standing behind my three-year-old son with his hands over his ears. You see, he was there. He was there in my mess. He was also there protecting my son from my brokenness. I think during that time, Jesus was trying to hold up a mirror to reveal the places that he wanted to heal me. But all I could see in that mirror were all the places in my life where I wasn't leading well or good enough. I felt like a part of me believed these teachings and a part of me was rejecting and rebelling against them. I felt like Jekyll and Hyde. I was teaching one thing and failing to walk out what I was telling everyone to do. Have you ever been there before? I doubted my abilities and my voice for leading. I knew God was taking me on a radical refining journey and I didn't want to mess anyone else up with my mess. So God had to do some more work in me. And this leads me to my second truth revealed to me throughout my experiences in RLA. I got to a place where God had to just completely deconstruct my belief system and redefine leadership. He told me, Brandy, all those times that you got out of bed, even when you wanted to hide from your responsibilities, that was leadership. He said, Brandy, all those times that you said no to people and expectations that were not in alignment with the season and assignment, that was leadership. He showed me that all those times I spent with those in need, praying and listening to them, even though I was in my own messy middle, that was leadership. He said, Brandy, Every time you show up for a grief counseling session so that you can hold space to heal the broken places within you so you don't pass that burden of brokenness onto Elijah and your next generation that you're called to lead, that is leadership. God showed me that leadership and leading is showing up and doing it hard, broken, tired, in your weakness, in your imperfections, doing it and keeping going despite all those things and instead boasting on God and giving him glory and continuing to praise him even if. Did you realize that you were leading even in your weakness and mess? Over these past two years, starting back in 2022, when I first took RLA, God dropped into my spirit, released creation from frustration. What I didn't know at the time was how frustrated my creation was. The healing journey of deconstruction and healing from the inside out is exactly what God had needed to take me to and through to reach and impact others that I get to lead in RLA and that I'm appointed to meet in my life and business. I believe creation is growing for God's sons and daughters to rise up and claim their dominion, identity, and authority. It's hard for people, though, to build if they are still broken. And RLA has created a space for me to heal what is broken inside of me. To lay all my broken pieces at the foot of the cross and allow Jesus to take them and piece them back together like a beautiful mosaic work of art. When I started this healing process back in 2022, I didn't truly know what I wanted or needed. And looking back and reflecting with God on these past few years, God whispered sweetly to me, Brandy, when you let me lead you, I will lead you to things you didn't even know you wanted or needed. So I want to ask you, are you ready to let God lead you to something greater that you didn't even know you wanted or needed. 
Are you ready to receive the inside out transformation that can only come through that Holy Spirit prompting and directing? Are you ready to lead and impact the next generation? If you said yes to those questions, I want to encourage you to join us in our next round of RLA as a member and use this, allow this to be a vehicle to release what's keeping you frustrated and lead you to the more that God has for you. Or even better, if you're listening and you've been through RLA and you feel the stirring to share this with others, join our RLC team of coaches and get this transformational training into the hearts of those you're impacted, you're appointed to impact. When you join us, I believe God just may be leading you to something you didn't even know you wanted or needed. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. We would love to hear from you. So please share your takeaways by tagging at live victorious over on Instagram and leave a review. This will help us get more visibility and reach more women like you for the kingdom. We appreciate you and are praying for you as you shine your light in the business world and rise to your purpose.